Okay, um, I wanted to do a better video explaining my uh, uh, headset um, and I uh, thought I'd break it all up, all the bits and pieces, so you can uh, actually see how it fits together. I apologise about the lack of a tripod. Um, I've only got two arms, so I'll do my best. Alright, I'll start with the keyboard. Um, it's just a basic Bluetooth keyboard. Um, the little wireless dongle for it. Just uh, fits into the USB port on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Um, made an arm mount for it out of a that's actually a um, uh, an archery brace um, and a um, bit of plastic, which uh, was uh, um, I did have a go at vac forming it. It didn't work too well, so I just used a heat gun and melted it round it. But it does allow you to actually remove the um, the keyboard. Um, it does have the cool sort of side effect that the, the keyboard does have a um, laser pointer built into it which uh, was amusing. Uh, anyway, right, so that's the keyboard. Um, power supply was two 6 volt batteries. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see them all wrapped up here. There's actually two of them there. One, so one there, uh, sorry, one there and one there. Um, they're rigged in parallel so they're giving out twice the output. Uh, sorry, twice the the ampage, so they'll last longer. And uh, just rigged up with a cable and a um, uh, as a fuse. Got a couple of amp fuse in there. That would. This is the only part I haven't taken off the belt at the moment. Go into the power regulator, which is hidden away inside this box. Um, basically, I put all the power bits and pieces in there, so uh, the uh, the cord from that goes through to the box. Uh, in there, um, then you've got an on-off switch at the top, um, a socket for the Raspberry Pi to actually plug into, a, another cable, uh, which is a, sort of a micro USB, I think it's called, um, for powering the uh, this bit, which I'll get to in a second, um, and that just kept everything at five volts. I did sort of a very very last minute hash job, attach a voltmeter to it which was just another, most of these things were bought on eBay. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just been held on with tape. That was done literally the night before the event I was going to. Um, so yeah, so that all powers the Raspberry Pi, which I did find this rather nice crystal case thing. Um, the only modification I've made to it is for the power. I do apologize about leaping this camera around so much, um, which, plugs into the power regulator um, but rather than actually have it going into the USB socket there are actually two pins on the board um, marked I think they're marked T0 and T1 if you look them up they are uh, power test points but you can also feed 5 volts into them and it's exactly the same as plugging this thing into a USB um, obviously there's the uh, SD card and uh, that's about it a uh, little network adapter and the USB adapter for the um, wireless keyboard. Right, now that would... Where is this plug in? Plugs in to the video output. I'll try and do one-handed whilst I'm not looking properly. Uh, and that provides a socket for the um, video and uh, also for... Oh, and the audio. So the audio can plug in there as well. So you've got video and audio both plugged into the Pi. That comes to that, which then plugs into this little gizmo, which is uh, for the Crystal MyView, uh, whatever it is, headset, which then plugs in. Uh, and then that's what actually powers the, uh, runs the, um, the headset. I did have the extra power supply coming off the, um, uh, the regulator just to keep that thing charged but it should run for a few hours on its own um, regardless and this is the actual headset itself which just I'm not going to plug in probably but it just plugs into the top like that okay the headset um, as you can see it's a mad combination of a um, a normal sort of boom mic head headphone thing that I got from eBay again for a couple of quid um, which has been 
basically wired onto uh, the uh, 3D, uh, sorry, not 3D, video headset. Um, that's just got lots of wire wrapped around it, holding it in place. I think I did drill a hole through as well, just to hold it in place. And then cocooned in Sugru to uh, uh, make it look a bit nicer, really. Um, the headset itself was originally two parts. Um, you can probably see from the layout of that there, you know, obviously there was another half to the glasses. Uh, unfortunately, the, the ones I bought on eBay, uh, they were cheap and uh, the right hand lens had a habit of going all fuzzy after about five minutes of use. So I turned it into a monocle, um, which worked surprisingly well. It is designed for my head, so most of my friends who tried this on had to sort of wheel it around and adjust it before they could actually, it would actually show them the image. Um, but the advantage of using this headset is made, apart from the fact it holds it in place, is the fact that you also had an earpiece, so you could get sound out of it. Um, right, I think that's about it. Um, I'll very quickly try and plug it all together. Hang on. Okay, I just plugged it in without the regulator, which is probably not a good idea, but it should be enough to work. And if I bring this round to here and put the camera through there, you should see the Raspberry Pi boot up screen going by. Um, that's actually working quite well. I'm rather pleased with that. Didn't think the camera would pick that up, but uh, proof positive it does work. Um, it is in full color. If you do do something like this, I really, really recommend whatever programs or applications you write on it have the writing and text uh, as big as possible because I have tried using websites on this but uh, you get really bad eye strain really very very quickly um, with the large text for the application I wrote it wasn't too bad it uh, um, it was quite usable it was kind of weird how it just seemed to project a floating green image in front of you that's, that's my application there um, and it just seemed to project this floating green image in front of you. I'm going to switch it off before I fry the damn thing. Um, and it'll work quite well. So anyway, I hope that's more information for you. Um, I'd love to hear if people do actually try and make one of these things. Um, it's not difficult, it's just plumbing, just plugging bits and pieces together. So anyway, have fun.